Is Xenoverse 2's new Beast Awoken skill trash or gas? Let's talk about that. Yeah! Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 16 video. I am really excited to be talking about this because we have to find out once and for all is this new transformation, the Beast Awoken skill, is it amazing or is it just absolute garbage? <laughs> because I've been seeing mixed opinions online from a lot of people and it kind of just all depends on the mode that you're playing, uh, the super soul that you have, and obviously your skill level and everything. That's what it really, really, truly boils down to, okay? But me personally, I do think that this Awoken skill is one of the best Awoken skills that we've gotten in recent times, okay? It's fantastic, I love it, it's so cool. Uh, it does hella damage, okay? But with every new transformation uh, that is brand new, uh, always comes with a lot of issues, okay? So don't you worry. We will be going over all the pros, the cons, the neutral stuff, everything that we need to know about this Wogan skill. We will be stacking it up and comparing it once again to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, which I would have to say is arguably the best, if not, you know, one of the best Awoken skills in the game currently right now, okay? And yes, we are going over PvP stuff, so I already know people are going to go in the comments and they saw the title and the thumbnail and everything, and they're like, oh, this guy, he has no idea what he's talking about. He uses mods all the time. He doesn't really play PvP and all that stuff. 100% valid, 100% true. I am not going to sit here and tell you what you should be doing, okay? That's not, that's not my profession here in terms of Xenoverse and stuff. But I am still going over all of the 100% facts that have been given to us that we know, a couple of things that I've tested out myself, um, and this is just gonna be an informative video overall, okay? You can formulate your opinion at the end of this, or maybe you have already formulated your opinion, and that's entirely fine. And again, like I said, um, it's not always black and white at the end of the day with these Awoken skills. It kind of just all depends. There's so many variables. So let's go ahead and get started. What's going on with Beast, okay? So one of the main criticisms for this transformation is that it takes hella long, okay? The animation is sick. I absolutely love it. But oh my gosh, it takes a long ass time just to transform. And with that time period of transforming leaves you open to a big ass stamina break, okay? You're gonna get your stamina broken and then you're screwed, okay? You're just gonna take hella damage, which that's another issue with this, which I mean, we know it has a 20% increase in your damage taken, okay? With the increase of your damage given, you will take damage as well, okay? Not as much as what you're, you know, getting increased in terms of all your attacks. As you can see with the pros, you get a 30% increase in all attacks, which is awesome. It's fantastic. But if you compare it to uh, something like SSBE, which gets a 35% increase, it's still falling short a little bit. Now, this can be corrected or even improved by giving a, uh, you know, Super Soul, such as Topo's God of Destruction Super Soul, or even the new Gotenk Super Soul that we got that gives you also an increase in all attacks, but it also uh, gives you an increase in damage taken, okay? So again, it's a glass cannon build. This is the most glass cannon build that you could ever have in, you know, Xenoverse 2, okay? With this, you also do get a 20% increase in key restoration, okay? So that's a plus there. And also a major plus compared to, for example, Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, there is no active key drain, okay? Once you transform, that's it, okay? You can charge your key like normal. You don't have to worry about it. Worry about reverting back to base form in, you know, only seconds uh, or even minutes of being in the match, right? So that is a big plus that a lot of people have loved. And that's why this specifically is so good for PvE, for raids. I would have to say this got to be the best Awoken skill for raids. I've been using this transformation for raids and I'm doing hella damage and it's amazing, okay? I feel like I only got to do the raid like a few times in order to get 50k, excluding that Android 13 raid because that Android 13 raid was trash. I hated it. It was the worst thing ever. But when I'm doing the Cell Max raid, like hella damage, right? Okay, now Again, moving back over to the cons, okay, the issues, um, with that 20% increase in the damage taken, which, uh, is, is, is a big deal, okay, you also, which is, I didn't even know this was gonna be a thing when it was first announced, but after you, okay, you do need five key bars to transform, just like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, but after you do transform, it eats up those key, the key bars completely, it eats up five key bars just like that. <laughs> Which I, I was just like, I didn't expect that because like, super, for example, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, it doesn't just eat it up like that, like instantly, you know what I mean? So it's like right after you transform, you lose 
five key bars, all right? And then, like I said, uh, one of the biggest criticisms about it was that transformation animation. So I did time it, okay? I didn't do, like, on the dot, like, you know what I mean? It was like, it, it, it was like, I feel like 6.3 seconds or something like that, okay? So I just rounded it, okay? About six seconds it takes to transform, all right? Now, to put things in perspective, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution, I believe, only takes about like three and a half seconds. So it's like half half the amount, right? So moving over to SSBE and stuff, okay? This, yeah, it takes about like three and a half seconds or about around three seconds. Now, somebody pointed this out. I can't remember who, but um, I think this is like a, like a little loophole in the system that if you're on one of the city stages and you go and you hug the wall, okay? While hugging the wall of a vertical building, and you transform into beast, it actually does get reduced, okay? I think I timed it, and it gets reduced by like 0.5 seconds or like one one extra second. It's like around that, right? Um, which is kind of funny because it when you do it, it doesn't actually have the camera changes and stuff. It just, it just like glitches out, and then, you know, it, it reduces the time by a little bit. If, if that's helpful to you, <laughs> I guess, uh, if that's a strategy that you're going to do, but um, like I've stated, this this mainly all boils down to uh, the mode that you're playing. So like I said, with PVE, it's it's a fantastic skill, okay? Because you have other people holding off the raid boss or whatever while you're able to just... You, can, you, you, you have as much time as you need to transform, okay? And once you fully transform, you're pretty much good to go, okay? It's just that initial trying to get that first transformation down that is kind of scary when it comes to PVP, okay? Because you're not fighting an AI, okay? You're fighting an actual human being, and most of the time, if not all the time, they know what to do right whenever you're transforming. Boom, stamina break, right? <laughs> the stamina break is so scary. So uh, another thing, this is kind of a, just like a neutral thing. It doesn't hurt or help this Awoken skill, but um, there's no, th you get the base like stamina recovery okay no change there right there, there's nothing different there and then the base speed uh you get no change in speed right uh so stamina and your speed is just the same nothing nothing helpful or hurtful to root it. so that's why i have it you know down there uh that's just separated but i just thought i'd put that in there because we're comparing it to super saiyan blue evolution which if we go back okay the pros on that is compared to a 30 percent increase in all attack damage for beast you get an extra 5%, 35% increase, okay? The animation on this lasts about three seconds. So again, half the amount, about half the amount that Beast takes, okay? You do get a slight boost in speed, okay? So that is at least a plus, okay? It's not like a major thing, but it is a speed boost, okay? And you also get a boost in stamina recovery as well. So there's a plus there, okay? Now the cons, okay? Because there are issues still with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. Now before this update, I think it was like, I want to say like it was either 20 or 30 percent. I could be wrong um, in terms of the key drain. OK, now that got reduced a lot to about 18 percent key drain now. OK, and if you apply the right super soul, you probably won't even notice it. OK, you could do the Vegeta super soul, the Fuse super soul or the DB super Gogeta super soul. OK, that will reduce it to the point where it's like barely noticeable or not even noticeable at all. OK, and I think. I did test it with the few super soul um you you could even still just recover your key like normal okay but obviously whenever you lose all your key you're still you know revert back to base like normal okay so uh another thing is that in i mean even though i i listed this as a con it's it's just kind of expected nowadays when it comes to a lot of these awoken skills especially the new ones um it does it still require you at base to have five key bars to transform, okay? But I don't think it's it's eating up five key bars just like that, okay? It'll eventually, you know, eat up your key if you just don't have the right super soul. But um, I would have to still say at the end of the day, and I've already tested this, and I think a lot of y'all can still agree with me, um, not saying that Super Saiyan Blue Evolution is the best end-all be-all Awoken skill in the game, okay? I don't want to go as far to say as that, but it is one of the best, and it should be your go-to if you're going to be playing 
probably uh, PvP. And it's still good for PvE. You know, it's still really good for that as well. But I feel like just like the beast, like I said, if you apply the right super soul to that, you give it that um, go tanks one or topo one, like you're just going to do so much damage. Um, but another thing I forgot to list on here, which is really cool about this, is that extra combo you get. The triangle, square, triangle, triangle, triangle combo. Okay, that thing is so cool because once you land it, it does immense damage. Okay, the damage on that is crazy. All right, and that's just for like a, a, an added combo into it. Okay, just doing the combos without having to, you know, use like a super skill or, uh, you know, uh, an ultimate skill or anything. So that's another cool plus there. So if we kind of go through and I'm not trying to be like, oh yeah, this many, you have four pros and only two cons, okay? And you have three uh, pros on this, but only three cons. I'm not trying to say it like that. Like, oh yeah, we're going to list it off. But I think overall, overall everything, I still think Super Saiyan Blue Evolution should be that Awoken skill that you want to go for, okay? But again, it all kind of just depends on what, you know, Super Soul you have, what mode you're playing, uh, you know, there's just too many variables that go into it, okay? But that biggest criticism for Beast is that, that transformation animation, okay? Um, I think if they could reduce that, I don't know if they would speed it up, kind of like what they did with Super Saiyan's transformation animation. They made that a little bit faster, I believe. Um, if they could speed it up or cut a certain part out, I don't know. I don't, actually, I really don't want them to. I really don't want them to do that. Better than anything, give you um, more knockback. Maybe give you uh, complete, just full super armor where you just can't get your stamina broken. At a certain point, I saw somebody say like, right when the aura appears you'll uh you'll have like pretty much invincibility at that point okay like the, you, they can't do anything because the animation like it's so cool it looks awesome it's it's iconic and perfect from the movie but it just takes too damn long for a game like this especially in pvp when you're trying to you know you want to get your transformation out and go that's why most of these other awoken skills are very fast okay SSB, SSBE, and even Super Saiyan God is hella fast. And, and also another benefit of this, which I'm not saying is like something that you would use in PvP or anything, but it's great that they uh, got this Awoken skill accessible to all races. I think that's another fantastic plus for this, okay? There have been a lot of great pluses with this. Um, uh, this could be a good or a bad thing depending on what you like in terms of appearance, but I think it's pretty cool that, you know, at least for the humans and Saiyans, you do get that hair change. I think that's awesome, okay? Uh, the actual, like, full-on hair change, not just, oh, color, you know, recolor or whatever. I think that's dope. But at the same time, if you have a wig, it completely takes the wig off. But at the end of the day, you should we just need to do hairstyles, okay? I'm getting to something completely different, but I just thought I'd mention that for fun. So uh, this video got a little bit longer than it should have been, but I just wanted to go over it. Um, overall, I still think Super Saiyan Blue Evolution is probably the best when it comes to PvP, okay? But... If you play your cards right and you know what you're doing, so, so, something like w with PvE, like I said, I feel like Beast might be that better uh, Awoken. But, I mean, I'll leave it up to you in the comments what you think is better. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to use and not what not to use or anything. Uh, last thing that I do want to go over, and this is um, something that I guess can help, okay, in terms of uh, that, that stamina break issue that it has with the transformation animation is this super soul you need to be uh, more careful by uh for, for gamma 2 i think it was added last update it could have been this update i can't remember but uh once your guard gets broken so once you get the stamina broken you recover from that guard okay from that guard break so that helps out a lot if you're using the beast awoken skill but then at the same time it's like you could be using a topo uh or uh go tanks super soul okay it, it's wasting a super soul i feel like like the fact that you need this in order for, you know, it to be more viable, for example, in like PvP, I think is kind of annoying. But at the same time, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution kind of does need that uh, Super Sulfur, uh, the key drain, okay? Uh, like I said, you know, th ever, all these new Awoken skills, when they, when they first release, they're going to have issues, okay? So I think Beast can be improved. I don't think it would be that crazy like broken once it gets improved because it still has all these other issues right uh you know that five key bar after transforming the 20 percent increase in damage taken that's huge right that's huge because super saiyan blue evolution doesn't get it doesn't have that okay so it all just depends right it all just depends on what you're what you're playing all right guys that's gonna be it for this video thank you for watching i would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below uh i personally love this awoken skill i'm so glad we got it and um 
And hopefully we'll see more in the future. Okay? And maybe we'll see a buff on it. Maybe. All right, guys. Y'all have an amazing day. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly. And you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe. Or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>